What's up guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. I am super pumped for today's video. We're gonna be looking at 10 trends from the 90s that are still just as popular today in 2018. As a 90s kid myself, I've always had a soft spot for the fashion of that decade, but I'd love to hear from you guys on what some of your favorite 90s trends are, so hit me up down below in the comments. But for the purpose of this video, I have narrowed it down to just 10 that are on trend for this upcoming season, and also ones that I personally love. That way I can show you how I like to style them as well. So to start things off, we have the polarizing fashion accessory, bum bags. In the late 80s and into the 90s, fanny packs were considered the norm, but after a while they became reserved for tourists, dads and memes. It seemed pretty safe to say that these bad boys would never make a comeback, but over the past 12 months they have once again become the hottest accessory to own. Whether you take a more sporty, hype beast approach or opt for a dressier belt bag sort of look, Personally, I find the latter easier to style with my go-to being this cheapy from Pretty Little Thing, teamed with a blazer for like that real blogger street style aesthetic. I can't really keep track of whether or not plaid has ever actually been out of style, but there's no denying it had a major peak in the 90s taking on two different forms. The preppy twin sets and skirts that Clueless cemented as an iconic 90s trend, and of course the more ironic option where grunge culture became the latest muse for the fashion industry and blew up into the masses. The pattern has no doubt become timeless over the years, but it's clearly been popping up more than usual this season, with every fast fashion retailer plastering it across their stores. Okay, overalls have been featured in multiple decades, but trust me, none have done it better than the 90s. There's a seemingly endless supply of styling inspo when it comes to this trend, with so many celebrities at the time rocking them. Whether you're looking for a more girl next door sort of vibe, or something with a little more attitude. One of my go-to girls though is Rachel Green. I especially love when she styles them with a blazer, because it's perfect if you feel like they look a little too juvenile or costumey on you. If you are on the hunt for some, then I'd recommend shopping vintage for the perfect pair to really get that more authentic look. I swear sneakers seem to become more and more popular with every season that goes by, but this year with the dad sneaker craze running wild, many brands are looking back on old school designs to do re-releases or gain retro inspiration. Whether it's back to the 80s for Jordans, the surprising comeback of Skechers, or the classic Air Max 97s. Chances are you've seen them all over Instagram lately, and personally, I couldn't help myself any longer and ended up splurging on these Air Max 95s. Vibes, but do stay tuned for a full sneaker styling video soon with some more affordable options as well. I don't know about you guys, but my childhood was all about the Spice Girls, so I'm pretty chuffed that everyone is bringing out their inner sporty spice this year. Not only is it nostalgic, but it's also ridiculously comfortable and convenient to just wear your track pants out and about. If you're looking for the ultimate Mel C look, you'll want to opt for a classic Adidas side stripe, chunky sneakers, and a crop top, but you can always easily switch up this combo and make the look your own as well. I'm gaining quite the collection, including an Adidas pair for less than $5, so be sure to check your local thrift stores before investing. So with the spotlight back on 90s fashion in general, we're also seeing a lot of brands that peaked in that decade making a comeback, like Umbro, Kappa, and Filler, just to name a few. Even brands that never really left the limelight, like Tommy Jeans, Champion, and Guess, are seeing a spike in interest and taking advantage of this retro appeal. One of the most popular options within this trend seems to be collaborations, whether it's a pricier option with the likes of a spray, an opening ceremony, or more affordable like my new ombro and misguided hoodie. All 
Alright, I'll admit this isn't the biggest trend of them all, but certainly one of my favourites, so I couldn't help but sneak in these under the knee boots. Definitely reminiscent of the 60s go-go boots, but the late 90s brought back a similar shape with an edgier style. You can turn to the ladies of Friends for inspo on this one, and of course, style icon Buffy Summers. Trust me, if you team them with a mini skirt, you'll be feeling like a vampire slayer as well. So I've practically lived in boob tubes through the hot Australian summer and often took my inspo from the girls of the 90s. Many styles had a more minimalistic approach with a solid coloured tube top or dress, but another popular look was the DIY bandana or scarf top, which I find always teams nicely with your favourite denim bottoms. And the great thing about this is how easy it is to adapt into different aesthetics. My outfit today gives a more vintage sort of nod, which is just one of the many ways I like to style this trend. We all know fashion trends are constantly being recycled, but this is particularly evident when it comes to sunglasses. Many of the most popular shapes today are heavily inspired by the 90s, whether it's Kurt Cobain's iconic frames or a Matrix inspired look. There should be just about a shape for everyone on this trend, and also a price tag for everyone as well, depending on whether you want to splurge on a designer pair or hunt for a pair at the markets or your local op shops. Last but not least, we have the infamous trend of baggy jeans. The skinny jean reigned supreme for so long that it was really only a matter of time before people started looking for another silhouette. But I definitely wouldn't have guessed we'd be taking inspiration from these. Thankfully, the trend has been tweaked upon its revival to be more flattering, often having a higher rise and a more fitted waist like the now insta-famous pair from IMG that I actually ended up caving and purchasing for myself. Extra points for the contrast stitching which also had a massive moment in the 90s. That's a wrap on today's video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to give it a big thumbs up for me and even share it with any of your friends or family that love 90s fashion as well. Like I mentioned, I'd love to hear from you on your favorite trends of that decade. So hit me up down below in the comments or maybe I'll see you over on Instagram at Steal the Spotlight. Thanks for watching guys. Mwah.